In today's video, I'm going to try and find out which wine tasting experience is the better one. I will be going to three different wine farms that have three different price points to have their wine tasting menu. All these wine farms are going to be in and around the city of Cape Town. First up is the Zevenvracht Wine Estate. Okay guys, so we're starting off this wine tasting journey at Zevenbracht Wine Estate in Kills River, which, fun fact, is where I grew up. Um, as you guys can hear, the wines are probably really fun. <laughs> they bring out the spirits, so I'm excited to wine taste. This wine tasting of five wines, we have two reds, a rosé, and two whites, um, is 45 rand for all five of them, and they're not paid with anything. We just add food because we need to eat, and yeah, so we're going to start off this wine tasting journey. Yeah. really will say this wine was whining um <laughs> whining <laughs> like <Quite> whining <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i think for 45 rand it it's really did it. the job uh -huh. no it did the job um yeah so i will say i i hate dessert dessert <laughs> dessert big <Because> I, <laughs> I hate dessert wine <laughs> sorry i hate <laughs> I'm joking. <clears throat> I hate dessert wines in general because they're really too sweet. I hate dessert wines in general. Okay. I hate dessert wines because they're really too sweet. So we kind of went white wine, then the dessert wine because we both don't enjoy dessert wines too much. Why are you looking at me like that from behind the camera? <laughs> wow, we're breaking the fourth wall in the first in the first <laughs> tasting. Anyway. Um, but then we had like the rosé which was alright and then we had the blend, the red blend which was okay but when you got to the pinotage that is really I think what drove it home so I, I really enjoyed that one and I felt like the wine tasting overall was really good. For the price point of like 45 rand for the wine tasting I'm not going to count any of the food, if I do order food at any of the wine farms as well I'm not going to count it but for just the wine tasting of 45 rand it was, it was well worth it. it was good getting drunk wine the only thing is that it's really far from like normal town like Cape Town city center but it's definitely worth coming to the place is very beautiful and a vibe honestly just a really fun vibe okay <laughs> thank you oh my man I don't my man love it Okay guys, so we're at the second location, second like wine tasting, and this is the medium sort of like level of the wine tasting. So it's like, you know, in the cheap, in the middle, and then the expensive one, so this is the middle one, and we are at... I really don't know how to say this. Peasant crawl? What? Peasant crawl? I don't know. Anyway, we are here. <laughs> Anyway, um, so yeah, we are going to have probably like the five um, wines. There's like a double list where it's a reserve wine list, and there's wait. okay. So there's the estate tasting, and then there's the reserve tasting. And the estate tasting is 80 rand for five wines, and the reserve tasting is 80 rand, um, 100 rand for five wines. Um, so we're going to pick between the two, probably do the 100 rand or the 80 rand one, but either way, um, yeah, we're here and my friends are here. 
and we're just gonna have a good time and I will just check in as we're going like I did in the first one. The more you leave it on maceration, the more dark color it gets. Our rosé spend only two hours. That's why we put a beautiful color like this, like we have the salmon color or the Patrick eye color. So you're more likely to pick up some watermelon, some strawberries, some raspberries. Uh, you get these vanilla notes on the palette. But then the bake of your palette finishes with a crispy and a dry finish. Thank you. Wait, okay, so we're having the first one. Here's everyone. But this is kind of long, so you can put it in the line. I do it in the middle of the line. There's nothing. Do you want to say hi to the people? Nah. No. A return! <laughs> the Ooh, yeah! A return! I'm back, guys. Um, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. You know, but. <laughs> you know, I, but I'm back. How was the first class? Um, first class, not great. Mm -hmm. Not great. I'm waiting for more. I think it's going to get better. Okay. What do you think? Um, yeah. Can get better. Yeah. Can get better. So, okay, how was the first car? Um, I'm not going to lie to the folks. I did drink a lot yesterday, so my palate is <laughs> <laughs> more than a lot. Okay. Just, just enough. Just enough. So my palate is a, is a bit um. Um, to be quite honest, I really couldn't taste much from it. Um, but I think because the first glass. Um, after having alcohol, it will only get better. Uh, then it finishes with a very, very crispy and refreshing clean finish that always gives you like the appetite to try one sip after that. So that's how dangerous it is to drink this. When you have one sip, you always want to eat. Alright. Thank you. Okay. okay, so um had the second wine. To be quite honest, we were more focused on the food and the food was really good, but I don't think I don't know if that's because we're hanging. Um the second wine, let me just taste it again. Um it's really good. Honestly, white wine, not my favorite, like I've said before, but this one is a lot better than the first one. So it's going really well. The board the um, cheese and charcuterie board as well, plateau really good I'm still going for the meat high end um cheese platter very great I'm enjoying it right now the wine you gave so much energy mm. it's giving so much the energy. wine I'm yet to taste the wine <laughs> huh? um, the wine is nice um, the platter was also the wine is like a 9 out of 10. <laughs> the platter is like a solid 6 out of 10. Okay. My brother. First time appearing. Yes. So, uh, Introduce yourself, they don't know you. Oh. Who are you? I am. Umano. Yes. Um, so, the wine <laughs> is nice. I was hanging before, but now I'm. You still. Oh, oh, oh you're nah. doing better. Oh, yeah, yeah. Are you back? <laughs> Much. Are you back? Much Welcome better. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. I'm trying to. He hasn't, yeah. he hasn't, he hasn't finished his. I'm, oh, yeah, I'm I mean, to, I'm but like. I'm away from stealing that meat. Okay, okay you can. Totally bomb. Okay, anyway. Yeah, yeah, you can. I'm just gonna. <laughs> anyway, the wine is good. The food was good. I must focus. That's what I was. I was gonna half it for us. Okay. <laughs> anyway, yeah, yes. Um, like, I was really into <laughs> Yeah. Um, the wine is good. The food was great. Mm -hmm. uh, and it brought me back to life. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, this wine is actually performing much better as compared to the rest of the wines. Um, it's because of our tropical conditions, like on a normal summer day, we experience what days and cold nights. So what days raises the sugar levels of your wine? Cold uh, nights lower it again. So that process balances the acidity and takes off your wine. So this wine is much more on the top of fruit side, mainly some partial fruit, followed through some citrus and guava other tones, then it finishes with a very bit crispy and a dry finish. Thank you. But do you know what's here? From a first few. So you're more likely to pick up some mocha, some dill, some dark chocolate. 
The tanning structure is quite uh, elegant and soft. Then it finishes with a bit of some beautiful Christmas spice um, and a bit of some smokiness. So we'll be able to taste. Uh, sorry. Okay, so we I've switched our sunglasses. Don't ask me how, don't ask me why. But we are now onto a red wine and as the cameraman <laughs> has told me it has like a dark chocolate note. I wasn't here when they were pouring it. Um, and yeah, let's just taste it. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. As you guys know, I'm a red wine diehard. Like I'd be I'd be for the red wine. <laughs> what? The more you personality. <laughs> Okay. Professional. Fuck y'all, actually. What do you mean? I compliment. Yeah, you're professional. Who do you professional? No, no, no. That tastes really amazing. Um, is it? What is it? Is it a, a peanut? Peanut tart. Yeah. I can tell it's autumn Merlot. Okay. But now Merlot. Yeah, very chill. The wine is really good. They don't have Merlot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a winner, Eako. You have so much left. So that's the Syrah, that's your last wine. Mm. So Syrah been five? and Shiraz is mm. the same grape, they only separate when it comes to winemaking style. When we talk of Syrah, we are referring to the old style of winemaking. Uh, it's more like a limited batch, but the winemaker makes sure that it, it gives last? more. Uh, my manager is just checking from that side. So. Okay, but just a tiny drop. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's not mix it right now. We have to taste oh, it. I was coming for that often. Yeah, I'm definitely coming for okay, so No, it was. It was so as you were saying. Often to me. So you are, you're you're more likely to pick up some sour cherries, some raspberries. The tanning structure is quite integrated and soft. Uh, then it finishes with a little bit of some white pepper spice and a little bit of some smokiness in the end. Mm. It was uh, nominated on the, on the top 12 Shiraz challenge in South Africa last year. 59 to 1 point from wine makers. Nice. Uh, can I ask a question? Like, uh, what's that, that previous one that was? I love that one. That's a pinotage. Pinotage. So, in, so any pinotage, like the name, of the, uh, any pinotage is, it tastes like that. Uh, it depends now with the uh, kind right. of barrels that you use. Oh, yeah. I see. So, like that one was there was an effect of the old barrels. That's why it was tasting like that. Oh, Otherwise, if you use new barrels, they need to make mm -hmm. and the terra where it is grown always going to be strong. Your, the two wine making style. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Like now? Yeah. Wow. I think that's a best pinot I To ten, how drunk are you right now? Uh, four. Four. Yeah. Solid four. Yeah. Do you think if you finish that class, you're gonna go on to five, six, four and a half? Mkaele. 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 I like. Yeah, we're sorry, guys, to disturb your deep conversation, but like on a scale of one to ten, yeah. How lit are you? Mhm. How lit are you? Five. Yeah, in the middle. That was that was quick. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. But like yeah. you asked me a, a specific question. Of course. Yeah. I, I said it was quick. Um, you're getting to five. Spogazi, hi. Hi. Uh, do you want to look at the camera? I'm coming now. On a scale of one to ten, how lit are you? Zero. Nyan? Yeah. 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 I had a lot of sobering situations happen to me today. <laughs> mm, <laughs> but no, I'm not drunk. Hi, Lucy. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. Our blood and water I'm stop. good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's who we're chilling with, guys. <laughs> You're a celebrity, guys. Go look, they're always yeah. blaming me for her. Here she is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how lit are you? No. Zero. Really? But you've yeah. been drinking. Guys, 
She's been drinking this for like the last two hours. Yeah. Have you been here for two hours? I don't know. I'm just yeah. estimating at this point. Sure. Uh, Five. 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 Okay, okay, guys. It seems like a very chill day today. Yeah. You can't. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. No, that's that's not true. Uh, we closed already. I think. Okay, I'll please give our glasses back. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is cellar door. This is just to take home. So spooky. Yes. On a scale of what's wrong? On a scale of. One to ten, how drunk are you after that tasting? I was gonna say like a two, but I think I'm more like a seven. I need you guys to remember she said zero first. Mm. The last time we asked. I think it was that Pinot Tage. It really hit. It had a a whoosh. A zing. <laughs> okay. Ayanda, let me turn around. Let me get On a scale of one to ten, how drunk are you? Um I'm a two. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck was that? Why would you need to jump from this low thing anyway? No, I wanted to like. Oh, try to photobomb. Yeah, that's the word. Yeah. Anyway, okay. guys, I'm a solid two. Uh -huh. I tried to get another bottle so I can maybe get to a five. Yeah. But and then tell us out. the bottle situation. <laughs> oh, um, I had to get my money back. So, I didn't know that the place closed like 45 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Had to get my little she bought point a bottle. Back. No, you're not saying in the, in the correct chronological order. The, the, the numbers are getting good. Let's start there. <laughs> the, yes, the numbers were juicy. So she was like, yeah. ah, oh, we more we had a, a little Kumbule Kaya situation. <laughs> so we were like, ah, I was like, nah, 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 this is perfect. We need another bottle. So this will put my even more in Daba. But <laughs> she goes inside to buy a bottle. And then she comes out with the receipts and everything. And they bring the bottle in a whole bag to take I even, home. I even told that guy we'll be sitting <laughs> and then like, our glasses. And I'm like, we need new glasses. God, you, no. And then, they, and then, um, yeah, so they gave us a takeaway bottle. So I was like, nah, guys, I wanted to drink it here. So just give me my money back. Yeah, but they're Boom. They were close. The end. That's why they, <laughs> yeah. So I got my money back. She what? even came and she tried to convince me like, do I, do you know that you can take it with you? <laughs> I was like, yeah, but um, I just want my money back, please. Just give me the money. Okay, well, okay. that's all for this wine tasting. <laughs> So we have made it to location number three and price point number three. We are at the Stienberg wine farm and specifically at the wine tasting um, venue and it's an outside section. There's also a restaurant but we are just doing wine tasting so we're sitting here outside. Um, I'm probably going to move to the shade but this is the expensive one. Um, we have a couple options where the... which one is it? I haven't seen on the on the that side. Okay, so we have a couple. There's four different tastings where the bubbly tasting is 160 rand per person. Then you have the classic tasting for 120 rand per person, the flagship tasting for 200 rand per person, and the red wine tasting, which is 185 rand per person. I will let you know what you guys choose. Those are four. Yeah. Um, I'm saying it's four glasses. Oh, okay. Yes, so each tasting is only four glasses, so that's what makes it more expensive, whereas the others are five glasses for 80 rand and things like that. So, yeah, I'll let you guys know which one we choose. I just um, need to get out the sun right now. You guys can enjoy the views, and let's get to tasting for the last time. I'm joined by my sister. She is the guest. I mean, she's been here for all of the videos, but today she's the special guest for the expensive one. It's her and I. Um, and yeah, oh, the lighting is much better this way. I just don't want to show people. But yeah, it's her and I today, and we are doing the tastings together. Okay, so we have chosen the classic tasting, which is 120. But the way that he's going to do it is that he's going to give us one bubbly um, and then two. Okay, so we're going to get one bubbly. We're going to get one bubbly, two whites. Um, a rosé and then one red because it's like a little too hot for red wine um, and yeah we're gonna get to taste a little bit of everything for 120 rand I think because that's the classic tasting which is the cheapest one on the list so yeah 
the extraction is almost just just right. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I was going to give you an extra one either way. <laughs> this is the Pinot Noir. So thank this is you. lovely flavors of strawberries thank and raspberries. Um, one of my favorites, it takes 12 years to produce, it will Ooh. be in the bottle. Unbelievable. And I hope you're going to enjoy the Pinot Noir later. Thank you. Can I take this glass away? You're still busy. I'm still busy. Okay, cool. wines so far. Um, we still have one more red coming. That's. I have a conspiracy, but I'll get to it. <laughs> should, should I? I'll tell them after I ask you. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Where are you looking? Okay. Cool. I'm looking at you. Cool. Okay. So, um, how are you feeling? Drunk. <laughs> okay. What was your favorite? Oh my gosh, it was the first, the, the bubbly that we had. I'm not sure what, what kind of bubbly, I don't know what he said. Yeah. Also enjoyed the Sauvignon Blanc, which my sister hated. <laughs> I, really, I actually really enjoyed that. Um, I'm it's, also enjoying it tasted like extra, Bunda. I'm also enjoying this extra Pinot Noir. Um, I think that one's oh, also yeah, really fun, nice. which is like the extra bubbly that we're getting. And I think the Chardonnay is strong. Sorry, I'm just <laughs> The Chardonnay probably was the one that really took it over the edge, but overall, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that these are not the best tasting wines, but they are getting me drunk. The drunk, is. like over overall, when we're looking at like all the wines we've had so far, these ones aren't the ones that like taste nice, but the ones they're the ones that like are getting the movement going. As you can see, like my movement is because we were pretty dead at the other wine farm. Yeah, like um, the middle section wine. It was very, it was very like, meh. The wines didn't taste bad, but they didn't taste great either. They were like, yeah. meh. These ones, they, they taste potent. So I wouldn't say it's bad, it's more potent. Like, if you're a wine lover, you probably enjoy these, but I'm a red wine lover, so I'm okay with these because like they're potent, and red wine is usually very potent, especially like your Merlots and your Pinotage and things like that. So like, I like that a little bit, but it's not like the nicest wines I've ever tasted. Um, yeah, that's what I can give so far, but I am, I'm not gonna lie to you, uh, it feels like I've had vodka shots, honestly. That's what I feel, I no, actually feel like I've had vodka it's shots. Giving back, yeah, it's giving back. Oh my gosh, it feels like I've had vodka shots, guys. Yeah. And it's hot as well, so it's like just too much for me to, I feel like I'm gonna go partying after this in top. Yeah, 100%. Form in the 1600s, and she had five husbands. This is dedicated <laughs> to her five husbands. Yeah. This is a blend of Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, oh, yes. and Malbec. So it even has a nice, it's good for your skin, it's good for your heart, good for a lot of things. So if you enjoy. So Mello is good for your heart. Good for your heart, good for your skin. See? Drink I'm, more. I'm, I'm fixing my skin in my heart every day. <laughs> a glass, no, just don't overindulge. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you yes. very much. Enjoy. So what I was saying is that um, the wines here, this is my conspiracy, right? I think they're trained in a way that whenever. Please look at the sun. <laughs> no, I was. Why is she sitting like that? Okay, it's fine. Okay. Um, what I was saying is, I think they trained to like see if you're done with, like, if you're halfway done with your wine, they're like, okay, let's refill it right now. Yeah, so you get more drunk. Drunk. Lately. And then so that you can move to the restaurant because there is a restaurant right over there. So I think that's right like next to the whole. Because even the last time I came here, they were like, oh yeah, like if your girls are hungry, like there's a restaurant there. And then we ended up like spending. Give you the crackers. And then we spent so much more at the restaurant than we spent on the whole entire tasting. So I think that's a whole conspiracy. I feel like the crackers are too And also their wines are like way. Like you get so much drunker. But I also think that's because it's more expensive. And they're giving you free crackers to kind of warm your stomach up for food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, I might as well nibble some more. Yeah. But yeah, that's my conspiracy. Cool. Okay, so. Um, I haven't finished my extra one, but this is the fourth glass, right, of wine, um, and this is a red, and it's a mixture of Merlot, he said Merlot Pinotage, there was a lot of mixtures in there, so I'm going to taste it for you guys, and if you guys know, I love Merlot, uh, I was about to ask why is there thingies, but he reused the, the rosé glass. Oh, it smells, it smells so good, it smells so good. Mm. 
This is full body, like the red wine at the last place in the medium income wasn't as full bodied and we complained about that but this is a full bodied red wine and I love that because I love red wine like mm. this one is worth it so what I'm thinking is maybe we could have gone for the one is it 160 180 just red wine tasting but because it's a hot day he didn't suggest drinking red wine on a hot day um, but I would probably suggest that you taste their red wines because they seem to be like the best out of everything that they yeah. have so the last time we had half white middle rosé and yeah, then two reds and it was so it? good yeah okay so the red wines are really good here so it's worth springing the extra extra money for 180 or 160 to have the red wines than to just mix everything up like you would at other wine tastings <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna finish these up um, and we gotta go because the reservation usually it's two, what, two and a half hours but right now we came on a Monday and we've only been here for two hours and they're already saying that there's a next reservation so there's also that, like it gets really full. We are sufficiently drunk but we are also leaving, we have paid the bill. The bill, funny enough, with the crackers and all six wines, was it six or five instead of five? It was it was six in no, it? It was supposed to be four. It ended up being five per person. Two bubblies and three normal wines. But the but you know but that last red wine he gave us a little extra extra. It was more than the and tasting. Extra, extra. And it hit extra extra because it's a Merlot, because Merlot is my baby and she knows me, she loves me, she always comes for me, right? And they gave us crackers, the lighting's not good. I don't give a f sorry. It's not that I don't give a f I'm just, oh, the lighting is good, but now I'm showing people. You see what the problem is? The lighting is only good when people like are showing in the background. But we're about to leave now. Um, so I'm going to try and get some vlog footage or clips of the place on my phone. And then we're going, where are we going? I'm kidding. We're not going anywhere else. Can you please tell us your situation right now? <laughs> the back strap is under my foot. I don't know the how. Wait, what? The back strap is under my foot. <laughs> Carry on walking. Of the shoe. <laughs> I don't know how I walk this stage with you. Your graduation shoes! This is the most uncomfortable shoe ever. They literally say every shoe has to have like a slope like this. Yeah, these like, ones don't. like mine does. No, these ones don't. It's just straight down next. <laughs> <laughs> but I bought them for the beauty. 